Hey, what's up guys? Um, my name's TJ and um, I've gone on YouTube and everywhere to uh, find out some more information about the TMG Ronnie Scott. Um, I contacted Jonathan um, late February and I have always, um, since the beginning is guitar, I've always been obsessed with white guitars, black pit guards. I just love the whole tuxedo look um, ever since I've been listening to the band Silverstein and he had a Les Paul that was white and a black pit guard. It just looks so sweet. Um, and so I have two Telecasters and I've really wanted a Jazzmaster and so I thought uh, why not go big and get a TMG Ronnie Scott? So I reached out to Jonathan and kind of told him what I was looking for. He gladly went through the specs, told me about you know the Bigsby. I told him I thought about a mastery bridge instead of the uh, typical Callaham, and he was more than happy to uh, work that out with me, even though I think I might have been one of the more difficult customers. But uh, Jonathan did a great job. I totally uh, support TMG guitars. Um, and so this video isn't necessarily me talking about Jonathan and TMG and how great he's doing, even though he's doing a great job. Um, but I really wanted to put out another demo. I know that uh, Living Room uh, Gear Demos has put out a wonderful, wonderful um, demo. And this is just with my iPhone, so this isn't the greatest quality. This isn't the biggest thing um, that you can find. But uh, I just wanted to run over some specs with you right now. So this is a Ronnie Scott with a three-ply pick guard. It's got a, uh, their humbucker in the bridge, because I really wanted a, a humbucker in the bridge just to get that dirt, um, and their slider P90 in the neck. Um, then I've also got bird's eye 5A with a maple fretboard, ebony fretboard with block inlays. Um, I got some extra features like the Perloid uh, tuners and the MOP logo on it, so it's probably hard to see. You probably can't see TMG on there, but it's like a white pearl. Um, super nice, got the Bigsby with the mastery bridge. Um, and I just want to run through, um, you know, how it sounds. Hopefully you like it. Um, this is probably, this is my first and ever demo, so please don't criticize me. Um, I just want to help you guys out. I want to let you know what the humbucker sounds like and what the uh, slider sounds like and then putting them together. Um, so I'll go through a couple of different things. Right now I'm just running through a box AC-15 that my buddy let me use. Um, and so here's the cling tone. I've got the Walrus Audio Deep Six and the JHS Prestige on just for like a little more buffering. Um, so this is my cling tone. <laughs> Um, I really, I think my favorite um, selection on this is probably the combined of them two. So this is the middle pickup. <laughs> That's just my clean. I know it's kind of driving, driven a little bit. Um, so I pushed back my JHS Prestige. So I'll just go through it again quickly. Bridge, middle, and then neck. Whew, love that third. Sounds so good. Um, so uh, first up, this is, uh, I'm just going to walk, walk through my pedal board with you. I'm not going to give you a cool shot because all I have is this iPhone. So um, I have a Delmar Overdrive from Bondi Effects. This is my first drive. So here's again on the bridge with the Bondi. Um, then here's a little tremolo action. Tap a whirl and then uh, 
typical eighth note on the timeline. <laughs> So that's my kind of delay settings um, on this, and that just gives you, a wor I'm a worshiper, so that kind of gives you the uh, outlook of it. And then I'll just throw on some reverb from the blue sky, and then also throw on some tape reverb. <laughs> two days um, and like I said I own two Telecasters but this thing just feels so good in my hands um, if you can see the neck just 5i 5a I'm not from Australia but 5a bird's eye and it just is wonderful Jonathan did a great job with it uh, super proud super happy to own this thing um, so yeah here we go <laughs> It sounds sounds great. set um, maybe not as wet as I like it but um, yeah so uh, I'm gonna play one last thing and end out this video um, I'm a metalhead so uh, one of the things that I look for in a guitar is the versatility of using it and one thing that I've really found about this TMG is that I literally uh, can use it um, in a lot of different um, a lot of different situations so for me being a metalhead and being able to play some more uh, post rocky kind of things that makes me really happy so I'm going to end out this video and uh, this is my last song <laughs> God bless.